Hi, this video will be looking at repositioning your walk for animation. So we have our walk, which consists of two steps. One, two. This last frame is going to be a copy of our first frame, but that's okay. In the reposition peg that we've added to our walk, we're going to put a keyframe in the first frame, right-clicking, insert keyframe, F6. Now frame 17 is a copy of our first frame. This is essentially where our cycle starts over again. So what you want to do is select the keyframes in your walk. So we're going to click on the first frame, hold down shift, click on the last frame, and we're going to copy those keyframes. Copy cells from timeline. And we're going to paste them into frame 17, because this is where we want our walk to start over again. So right click, select paste cells in timeline. So now we just have a walk that kind of repeats itself in time and space. Now in the reposition peg, click on frame 17 and add a keyframe. Insert keyframe. Here this first keyframe was a motion keyframe. We want to make sure that we try to keep all the keyframes in the reposition peg layer as stop motion keyframes. We essentially want to do the same thing that we did when checking to make sure our feet weren't slipping. We're going to turn on the onion skin layer. We're going to make sure that the onion skin only shows the previous frame right here. So now we're going to match this left foot right here to where it should be in the timeline. So we can reposition it by clicking the transform tool. And now we can move the entire thing. And now because of this one reposition keyframe, the rest of the walk here should look like a continuous walk. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to copy the beginning of our walk to the end of that cycle. Right click, copy cells from timeline and then paste it into frame 33. In the reposition peg in frame 33, we're going to add a keyframe. And with just three reposition keyframes, we should get a full walk.